Hi there. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between the absolute and relative paths when you are on a Unix system. Uh, so as we've described, described before uh, in a different video, the file system is just a tree. And the root path is slash, and all the directories uh, for everybody who is using uh, the MIF system, or any, in fact, almost any computer at Stanford, uh, has the files and directories underneath that root. The absolute path of a particular file is the path that starts with slash from the root and lists all the different directories up to the particular file or directory that you are looking at as uh, it goes along. So uh, if we do a, I happen to be uh, in my home folder and a subfolder called CS107, and if I type PWD, that says slash AFS slash dot IR slash user slash C slash Greg slash C or G blah 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 <laughs> all of that and that is the absolute path of the file or the folder okay so if I uh, look in if I go into assignments and then assignment zero assignment zero and hello I can type PWD and that will give me the directory absolute directory for the assignment zero folder. Okay, so if I was to actually do the assignment zero folder and then uh, hello, that would be the absolute path to hello. Okay, and there you go, and I've just run that file hello from the absolute path. Now, most of the time we don't want to have to type all of these paths because it's a bit painful and we don't necessarily remember what they are. But the nice thing about Unix is that you are allowed to use relative paths. So I'll notice something. The path up to here is just my home directory. And we actually have a shortcut for the home directory called tilde. So if I actually type tilde slash uh, CS107 slash assignments slash assign zero slash hello, that's a relative path for the uh, for the hello program. Okay, so one way we can use relative paths is if we use the tilde sign to say, look, start at my home directory. Another way is to use the dot and the dot dot files, which we already said stand for the uh, dot stands for the current directory and dot dot stands for the uh, parent directory. So if I want to say dot slash hello, well, guess what? That means in my current directory, run the hello program, and it works perfectly fine. Now, what if I was in the assign uh, one folder, right? Well, this folder doesn't have hello in it, but if I want to run hello, I don't have to type the entire path again, nor do I even have to start from my uh, home directory path because I can just start from uh, here. If I know that assign one and assign zero are siblings of each other, I can type dot dot to get to the parent directory, and then I can type assign zero and then hello, and that's a relative path to go from where I am to the hello program. Okay, and there you go. So uh, you will use relative paths all the time uh, to refer to various places you are. Uh, it's, it's no fun trying to type out the entire uh, folder name from this giant AFSIR business. It's just not, not very fun, and 99.999% of the time, you don't need to have an absolute path. Thank you.